everyone. Happy Cinco de Mayo. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have some fun things planned. If not, I'm going to share with you what we're hoping to plan in my neighborhood is a little party with my next door neighbors, of course, outside uh, on the edge of their property, on my property, and they'll be in their yard and we're going to have some meals delivered first time from a restaurant kind of exciting it's like wow got food from a restaurant can't remember when I did that so at any rate I want to talk to you about sand mm -hmm. sand but first I'm gonna get you there so have you ever seen a magnification of sand just a tiny 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 gram of sand magnified tremendously I'm gonna to try to find a picture of it and post it later on but if you saw one of these magnifications you'd be shocked at what's there it looks like a whole other universe there's little pieces of glass and shells and shapes that have been battered around throughout the ocean for probably millions of years some of them so it's glass and shell and bone and teeth and you name it. It's like this whole other little universe in a tiny little piece of sand. How could that be? Well, you're exactly the same. So whoever you were when you were born, you took the imprint from your family of choice because you got to choose your parents FYI good better and different there was always lessons that needed to be learned but inside you're so much more than all of the imprinting that was heaped upon your soul we're at a very significant time right now. Yes, often it takes a crisis for people to be at their best. And yes, it takes a crisis for people to get frightened and run away. And just want to run. That flight run sequence just kicks in and people just go, danger, 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 Will Robinson. Anybody remembers last since Lost in Space? But I want you to just contemplate you, who you are, who your soul is. Where did you come from? Because in truth, just like that little tiny grain of sand, your soul, your being, everything that's created you has been bouncing around the universe since the beginning of time. You're not new. You weren't just born on your birthday. Your soul has existed. You see, energy can't die. Your body can, but energy can't die. Now, think about that. Anyone who has loved and lost someone to the other side knows once they get beyond the fear, once they get through the anger, once they get beyond the fact of what they've lost and their grief, and once they come to peace with that person that they've lost, they start to realize that they really haven't lost them. They're really still right there with him. And if you're really good and if you get really, really still, you can still feel them. You can still hear them. You can hear their laugh. You can hear their sarcasm. We continue. Sand never disappears. It may not be on the beach anymore. I have a whole jar of it in my meditation room because I bought it back from Destin. It's a pretty special place. 
because the sand there has crystals in it. Yeah. Long time ago, someone told me about this place that I needed to go. And I had never heard of it. Why would I? I'm from Jersey. I'm not a southerner. I don't know anything about the beaches down here. And she said, you must go and you must go on a full moon. We've got a major full moon coming. And if I could get in the car right now and go, I probably would. But I think I'll hold off. And what she said was on a full moon, these incredible white beaches, and they are, they're lush, they are unbelievable. I've never seen a place in the States that was, the water was that clear. It was kind of a place called Emerald Beach, which is sort of just west of Destin, but down there in the Panhandle. And on that full moon, the beach sparkles, like tiny, tiny little lights sparkling because it reflects the moon because that's what the crystals do. I thought, well, this really isn't real. This can't be real. And I don't know who this crazy lady is. And she was an older lady and probably like me now. <laughs> I don't even know who she was, but I never forgot. And I did have a chance thanks to my good dear friend, Dr. Eileen, we went down and stayed on a full moon. And the magic was amazing, just amazing. So I want you to go there with me right now and imagine that it's a full moon and you're walking on the beach and you feel that sand just warm but not hot. The other magical thing about this place is the sand never burns you doesn't get hot. It's because of the silica, the crystals, and the sand. You can walk forever bare feet in the hottest part of the day and never get burned. So just come with me and just walk along the water's edge and listen to the pelicans and the little sandpipers running around busily, doing what they do, looking for worms and things to eat. And just walk. And as you walk, the sun's starting to go down just a little. And more and more people are leaving the beach and it's getting quieter. And I want you to just find a place where you want to sit. And just sit. You don't need a special blanket. It's not sticky sand like other places. And just contemplate your own soul. Contemplate the balance in you I want you to acknowledge the part of you that's your feminine half, your receiving half. Are you receiving? Are you able to receive? Are you able to take in the compliments that people give you? Are you able to receive beautiful things in your life? Are you able to accept that you're worthy of receiving. So as you're sitting there, just contemplate your having this. How full is your having this cup? Is the water all the way up to the top? Is it half empty? Is it hard for you to receive? Just notice for right now. I usually see them sitting on one side of my chest and then on the other side of my chest. 
to the little crystal glasses. And now, contemplate the male aspect of yourself. How confident are you in the world? How clear are you that you can make a goal and go get it? How clear are you that you can hold your own in the world? Instinctively, naturally, without having to press forward and overpower anyone with your power because you're that comfortable with your masculine self. You see, we both have both. All of you have both. We are really near perfect beings balanced in our masculine and feminine self. This may be new to you. It may not be. Margarita and Carrie and Peter and Lisa and SJ, I know it's not new to you. But for all the others that will listen to this later, it may be new news. When a woman is too overbearing and too out of balance with her masculinity, they call her cunning and demanding and a whole list of other words. And when a man is maybe too imbalanced in his feminine half, they call him wuss or too weak, all other kinds of things. This has no boundaries. And whether you're gay or you're straight, it has to do with who we are as souls. Just like the sand that has all those different particles in it. You are here today because you're evolved enough to have a body and a mind and a heart that can reason, that can reason and feel the difference between the feminine receiving side of yourself and the masculine sending side of your house. Your house being your home, your body. Now notice that right now on the sandy beach, it's quiet. The sun has gone down. The moon is full. And as it fills, fill your left side and your right side with the divine light of this new moon that's coming in. Feel yourself being balanced. Feel yourself feeling whole. And breathe. And now, go deeper. Go deeper into your heart. And know that you are more than even this. You are a child of God. You are a blessed being, a creation that carries with you wherever you go. A piece of crystalline light directly from the divine. That crystal not unlike the will always guide you will always be your message between heaven and earth 
Think of all the times that you had a feeling not to go somewhere, not to hook up with someone, that something wasn't quite right. Always, always, whether you chose that or not, you'll realize later that the message was for a purpose. Think of the times when you've lost your trust and moved into your head and started working so hard to try to make things happen, to try to make money, to try to pay the man, to the point of losing your connection with the people that you love and losing the connection with what's important to you. But more important, losing connection with yourself, with your heart, with what makes you unique. For each and every one of you, like me, are just a tiny piece of sand that has been and experienced probably everything that the world and the world's beyond And yes, even heaven has recorded in that tiny, tiny little place. My favorite Japanese word is skoshi, tiny, beyond tiny. So what is your calling? What's important to you? And now, as we accept this new moon in, first step, balance your hemispheres. Your left and your right, your masculine, your feminine, your conqueror, your lover, your spiritual self, and your earthly self. The energy is here for us to balance now. Allow it in. You allow God in. You allow peace to reside in your heart. And you allow your brain to stop running the show. You see, we each may be one tiny crystalline structure mixed with carbon and blood and bone and breath that lives. But when you put all of us together, we are many. And we can change this world. The collective consciousness can shift, is shifting. And our goal here, if there is such a thing as a goal, is to be the best and the most balanced we can be and to allow that divine energy to just wash over us every day and clean us, clean our souls, clean our auric field, and bless us. You know, the dogs have been busy this afternoon, and did you know that the dogs and the cats have a collective brain? I learned this when one of my favorites died, and the dogs in the neighborhood and the cats came one of them stayed all night long at the gravesite. It was his best friend. And I noticed even my cat that didn't like the dog wouldn't leave the door, stayed by the front door all night long. Why? 
Why? Because they could feel the grief. When one passed, they all could feel it. So we're not dogs and we're not cats. Hmm. Maybe we could learn a few things. Or maybe right now, we could simply open our hearts to each other. And feel that balance in each other and expand it to the people that we love and expand it to the people that we find difficult so that they may have a chance to awaken and let go of their fear. Just like that car just came and took it away. So I wish you well and take a minute to enjoy your day and celebrate. Bye-bye.